media is changing so fast. Um, it used to be you read an article, now you don't want to read it so much, you want to watch it. And after a while, it seems like videos don't perform so well and it goes back to shorter form articles. Um, but it keeps changing and you have to keep up. So what at Rage we try to do is to look at what's popular in our audience and we try to reach them through different touch points on these different platforms. So it's mostly based on video and we use social media to amplify that content. So we repurpose the content onto um, Insta Stories, which we know is currently almost taking over social media. Um, we um, repurpose um, the videos to shorter videos for, for perhaps young audiences who have a short attention span or who prefer more human content as opposed to investigative. So we can um, shorten it to just the human story of one victim or one survivor. The long form feature articles that we put online, we cut it down for print because we know column inches. Um, and we cut it down shorter still to um, sometimes Instagram posts that we can post. Um, for some stories, we also do um, infographics and use them as Instagram posts so they can scroll through on Instagram, on an Instagram post, different um, infographics related to the story. So I think the lesson we've learned is that there is no handbook on telling a story um, uh, on social media. It's changing all the time and every day we get um, different challenges. Um, Facebook changes its algorithm, suddenly we see our view counts drop and we have to react to that. Um, and we cannot blame the audience, we cannot blame the platform. We as a producer, as content producers, we're in charge. We need to know, find out um, how people, re how audiences react to the story and the platforms and adapt very quickly. And I think that's the biggest challenge probably at Rage um, in what we do. Um, what used to work might not work in a week's time and we have to adapt.